Here's a, uh, this is Freddy. Christy Karras's cat, Freddie, has been keeping her company during a difficult time. I was one of the first people in the U.S. Um, to be diagnosed with a mild case of COVID-19. Having since recovered, the Seattle-based writer wanted to do more. I do not love having my blood drawn, but happy to do it for science. Karis participated in a clinical study called Immune Race, launched by Adaptive Biotechnologies and Microsoft. Chief Medical Officer Lance Baldo says the study's test is different from the current diagnostic and antibody tests. We're looking more specifically at the virus's effects on the body. We're looking at the body's effect on the virus. Immune Race will analyze how different people's immune systems respond to COVID-19 by studying the response of their T cells. They're the first cells of the immune system that tend to respond when you are faced with a viral infection such as COVID-19. Identifying these initial reactions could help create a diagnostic test that detects COVID-19 earlier and more accurately than current tests. Seeing how T cells respond can also provide clues that will help researchers create better treatments and vaccines. What we're trying to do is to look at that immune response and tease out differences between patients who fare well and in some cases, patients who don't. And what are those differences in the immune response? The study is currently enrolling 1,000 participants across 24 U.S. cities and will include at least 3,000 additional samples from Africa and Europe. Adaptive and Microsoft use machine learning to be able to tease out signals from this huge amount of data to try to make sense of it. For Karis, it's one way to make sense of getting sick in the first place. Part of what makes me hopeful is that the idea that, yes, maybe some good can come of it, and maybe that will give other people some hope as well. Tina Trin, VOA News, New York.